Welcome Descendant, I'm here with 10 tips and tricks for new players to easy in your first run. Ok, I'm reloaded! You can cancel roughly 30% of reload animation by aiming down sight. Slow reloading weapons tend to cancel it faster, with some being around 50%, while fast weapons cancel a bit slower with average of around 30%. If you want to keep it consistent, you can change aim option to toggle instead of hold and your character will automatically cancel part of reload each time. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Suppose you find yourself trying to attempt an outpost mission that is currently on timer. In that case, you can teleport to any other location within the same zone as long as it's a separate instance and teleport back. If available, it will push you to another instance where the timer might be different. You might end up in another instance where the timer is locked, but just keep teleporting until you find an open one. It's still much quicker than waiting 5 minutes. Always be crafting. You have 5 crafting slots, so make sure they are always on timer. Whenever you return to Albion, take out what's completed and set new crafts on. Do you need it? Craft it. You don't know if you need it? Craft it. You don't need it? Craft it. You will need constant supply of resources to upgrade your gear and some of them are 40 minutes of craft time so you want to keep continuous supply of those materials. All my friends are toxic, all ambition. If you are stuck on piece of content, look for group on official discord or general chat. It's much easier to go in with people that know the mission than queuing with other people attempting it for the first time and failing over and over, especially with the Colossus runs. So here's this giant enemy crab. You will be fighting Colossus roughly every 10 levels. Every time you finish the zone, you are faced with Colossus. Use weapon from the last mission in that zone to either transfer its level to your weapon or swap them out to maximize your damage output. You can then use those weapons to clear out the next map and repeat the level transfer before the next Colossus again. Also, every roughly 20 weapon levels, remember to readjust as perks will fall off at that point. Warp drive at Scott. Make the most out of your zipline while moving. You can latch onto walls, trees, buildings, etc. and hold side move button to build up momentum. When you reach the height point of where the zipline is latched, press the zipline button again to detach it and propel yourself forward. Then before you land, tap double jump for the last bit of momentum. Whenever you are falling from large heights, keep your double jump just before you hit the ground to nullify the stagger. If you used your double jump while high in the air, you can quickly shoot out one bullet and trigger reload animation to cancel the stagger. Hold on. Hold on. You will constantly get new weapons and gear, so whatever you don't need, junk it and dismantle it for resources so you can A, B, C. The only items you should hold on to are legendary weapons, as you need 5 exact copies of the same legendary weapon to max it out. Alpha K is gone. When you travel through new zones, you will notice smaller teleporters on the map. Make sure to always take a short detour as you progress through the quest and mark them so you can quickly traverse while farming. Why won't you? If you get yourself stuck and can't find a group for content, take a step back, level up your weapons, upgrade your mods and try again while you are fully prepped. Keep in mind that even Colossus aren't a big challenge on solo run if you are prepped for it. If you need any other guides, like Colossus runs or Bunny Questline, you'll find them in the video description and I'll see you in Albion.